Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I am so beyond excited for today's video because it is in collaboration with a fellow YouTuber that I love. Thank you to Christina Marie for collaborating with me on this video. I can't wait to watch your video, baby girl. So definitely head over to her channel because she has 10 more easy ways for a healthy lifestyle. So go check it out. I absolutely love her channel. She covers everything on like a healthy, positive lifestyle living, helping you live your best life. And I really admire that. She covers everything from money saving tips, beauty, fashion, food organization, oh, anything you need, she's got it covered. So I will absolutely leave her link down below. Go check her out. I'll also leave it up here. Okay, so we are talking easy ways to start a healthy lifestyle. So I've come up with 10 that I personally do myself. So I'm here to share them with you. I'm starting with the simplest one of them all. Is to take a multivitamin. Maybe you already do this, but a lot of people actually don't because I didn't for the longest time. Or I would have the multivitamin, but just never actually go through with taking it because I'm lazy and I would forget about it. What you gotta do is get yourself in a habit every day. Take it with breakfast, that's what I do. You know, don't take it on an empty stomach. You're going, mm -mm. Cover your bases because you can't, I know for me, <laughs> I can't really depend solely on food to ensure that I'm getting all the proper nutrients that my body needs. Sometimes, and it's all good, you just need that little help, that little boost, baby. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, guys, real quick, this is the multivitamin that I take uh, from Centrum. Really, really love it. It's good for energy, immunity, metabolism, and healthy appearance. Tip number two that I have is to, and this is a big one for me because this has literally changed my entire life around, and it's to incorporate healthy food alternatives. Your girl loves food more than life itself, but it's important to really try to find healthier versions of foods, especially those which are extremely tasty, <laughs> because usually the tastier they are, the worse they are for you, you know, you, we all know how that works. Okay guys, so um, here's my fridge. <laughs> it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> I just want to kind of show you guys healthier alternatives real quick, like show you specifically what I use as healthier alternatives. These Bolt House salad dressings are so freaking good, made from yogurt, okay, like half the calories healthy, natural, like a way better alternative to just regular dressing. That's something to think about. Bolt House is the way to go. Another yogurt dressing, honey mustard, oh, honey Dijon, my favorite. Healthy alternative for ice cream. Okay, cause your girl, especially in the summertime, when I'm sweating my bum off, I need to cool down with some ice cream. Obsessed with Halo Top. Got it in strawberry and I got one in mint chip. 320 calories for this entire pint, okay? And I only eat like a third at a time, so. I mean, I could eat this whole pint, don't get me wrong. It's super light, 80 calories for half of a cup. Can't go wrong, made of all natural ingredients. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while now, you'd already have heard me talk about this about a million and one times. Yeah, this is the rice ramen, the brown rice pasta that I'm talking about. I get this at Whole Foods, tastes like Regular pasta, I love it. Natural gains, baby, oh yeah. So yeah, there's a healthier version for everything, yeah. Tip number three, this is something I do every single solitary day, is I keep water on me at all times of the day, no matter what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you guys my best friend in the world, okay? We're besties. EPA free, I got it from TJ Maxx for like $8. I can bring this baby anywhere with me. It's got a little snapperoo, so it ain't going anywhere. Oh God, I hope this works. And it works. I'm busy a lot. All right, I don't got time to keep filling up a water bottle. Who's got time for that? This bad boy uh, fills up to 3000 milliliters, okay? I'm not gonna go on and on about the benefits of water, okay? But I am gonna say this. It's gonna clear your skin. <laughs> it's gonna boost your metabolism. It's gonna help with weight loss. It's gonna help with brain function. It's gonna help with toxins, getting rid of your toxins. Just about every good thing you could possibly think for your body. So guys, you might wanna start with some aqua. Tip number four, what I just recently started to uh, do. Okay, this isn't something I used to do all the time, but now I'm taking it real serious. I am planning my meals ahead. Why? Because I find myself getting attacked by hunger randomly. It's unpleasant, 
it surprises me that I don't like it. And then I go and just grab everything and anything in sight. Like whatever I see, I'm just gonna eat it. So by planning my meals ahead, I guess you guys can call it meal prepping. It's true, but I only meal prep about three days in advance. That's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. It's a lot less stress when you just cover like the next couple days rather than trying to sit there for a few hours to cover a whole freaking week worth of food. And we don't have the biggest fridge, so I don't know where I'm gonna put that food. Plan ahead your meals and you will definitely notice that you're eating better because you have time to think about what you're actually gonna be cooking and, and making rather than at the last minute saying, I didn't even think about dinner and I'm starving, so I'm gonna run through McDonald's drive-through, so. Okay guys, so these are the containers um, that we use when we meal prep. They're BPA-free. These we got at TJ Maxx. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get them anywhere. Little lids. Um, it's perfect. Uh, they're very roomy. You got for your protein, your starch, and your vegetable. Okay, number five is a big one as well. All these are big ones, but number five is something I do every day is to start your day with a healthy and nutritious breakfast. Because the way you start your day is gonna determine the rest of your day. If I were to wake up in the morning and eat an Egg McMuffin, forget it, the whole day's a cheat meal. At that point, you won't get me to eat a piece of fruit or a vegetable. You just won't eat whatever you you want, but if it's healthy, you are more likely to be on that track for the rest of the day. And then if you keep that up, you're healthy for the whole week. It's also gonna make you feel a lot better. Your body's not gonna shut down because when you're eating very simple carbs, say a bunch of bagels or something like that, you are going to crash from that. Your body is going to store that as sugar, so it's basically giving you like a sugar rush, which will give you a sugar crash. Tip number six, you guys, is to have healthy snacks in reach. And I have a little trick, okay? When I buy things like carrots or celery, things like that, I automatically, as soon as I come home, I will rinse them, wash them up real good, dry them, and then I will slice them up and put them in containers so that it's easily accessible. Same thing with fruits like strawberries, things like that. Um, when things are easily accessible, you're more likely to go through with eating them. On top of all those, the goods, the, the, the vegetables and the fruits, uh, I also like chips because who doesn't, all right? And I swear by healthy, natural chips, which are very, very hard to find, believe it. A lot are packed with sodium or claim to be healthy and they're just not. So I do have a few favorites that I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick. All right guys, so here are a few of my absolute favorite chips. These are my go-to that I just grab every time because they actually taste good. They're healthier alternatives to your basic chips. This one is by the brand Food should taste good, that's ironic, huh? Yeah, these are multi-grain tortilla chips. They got little chia seeds inside of them. Yummy. Another really good chip um, for you, very good for you, is the better chip. Radish chia is my favorite. And last but not least, I like to munch on um, these rice thins I got from Whole Foods um, from the brand Sesmark. Brown rice, uh, ladies, if you're working out and you need some natural, uh, healthy, complex carbs. This is perfect for a snack, okay? Make some healthy salsa, bruschetta, you do some dipping, girl, and you're good to go. Mmm. -hmm. Number seven, you guys. Take a mind and body break every half hour. It is very, very important to move not only your body, but to give your mind a break when working because just taking even just five minutes just to step away, go for a little walk, whatever you gotta do, you will come back feeling so refreshed and your mind will be able to work better. Let's be honest. If you were to sit for a long period of time, your muscles start to stiffen up, really bad for your joints. So my, my biggest suggestion is to just get up. Even if you can't really walk around, just get up and stretch. Just stretch around, believe me, it makes all the difference. A lot of people just wanna truck through to get their work done and I get it but uh, you will feel much better. And me, although I don't work in an office setting, I am always, always, always editing things on the computer. Every single half hour I'm editing a video, I will get up, I'll walk around, I'll do some jumping jacks. Then when I'm back and I go to edit, I feel good. I'm like, all right, let me do this. Yeah. Tip number eight, find time each day to do something you love. Just one thing you love. What do you love? Any time is better than no time. 
because when there's all work and no play, well, I don't know about you, but not to say that you need to be doing something you love for a whole hour or two every day, but any bit really will make all the difference. You gotta balance out your life. You gotta, you gotta take care of you, okay? You are just as important as every single other thing, other task that you're doing throughout the day. Tip number nine, this is something I'm still currently working on, but I know that it's helpful. <laughs> is to sleep with your phone away from you. And to, for some, this is very, very difficult. For me, it's very, very difficult. I'm constantly reaching for my phone. Yeah, I'm one of those people, okay? I'm not very proud to say it, but I am. A big reason why I'm doing this, why I'm practicing this, is because it's not. I'm not so bad at night. It's actually first thing in the morning. When I wake up, I just, before anything else, I'm still half asleep. I haven't even opened my eyes yet and I'll grab my phone. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. You need to like wake up and like appreciate that you're alive first. <laughs> like I said, I'm still trying to work on it. You know, nobody's perfect. And I'm certainly the farthest thing from it. But uh, yeah, a lot of us use our phone for an alarm. Totally cool, just put it on do not disturb. Have it across the room and it will actually help you wake up because when you hear that alarm, you ain't hit snooze. Cause that, that baby's all the way across the room. You're gonna have to get up, all right? You're gonna have to get up and turn it off yourself. And then by that time, you're awake. Okay guys, last tip of the day that I got for you. Tip number 10 is to set time aside for self-care. This is different than setting time aside to do something you love, okay? That could be a hobby, that could be anything. But self-care, when you take care of yourself, you're naturally releasing endorphins. It makes you feel good, it makes you feel confident. It's other than things like basic things like brushing your teeth, I mean, I would just hope that everybody just does that. Adding into my routine uh, a face mask every night makes me feel real good. It makes me feel like I'm doing my best to live my best life. This could also mean yoga in the morning for 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be a large amount of time. Just anything to kind of give yourself that respect. All right, guys, that was it. Those were my 10 easy ways to start a healthier lifestyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And to see the other 10, don't forget to go check out Christina Marie's channel. She's gonna be hooking you up, okay? Do not forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you again to Christina Marie for collaborating with me on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.